On this edition of American Geo 360, we are going to look at one of the famous Indiana geodes. One of the geodes that made American Geode famous. Now, the geodes from Indiana are from a sedimentary formation. Uh, they are different from the kinds of amethyst geodes and the ones that are found in Mexico, Brazil, you know, that are a result of volcanic activity and air pockets and bubbles uh, and immense heat. The geodes of Indiana are of a sedimentary nature, so that's why you don't have the, you know, they are more of a fossil, closer to a fossil than a, you know, jemmy sort of crystal filled geode like again the ones that are formed uh, metamorphically down in uh, like Mexico or Brazil. Uh, so this was probably a crinoid. Um, this is a you know what happens with the uh, the Indiana geodes remains somewhat of a geologic mystery. Something that American geode will be tackling you know as long as American geode is around. How that the fossils, the crinoids, you know, the plant life so prevalent down in southern Indiana, you know, as um, sedimentary f uh, formation occurred, uh, how they expanded, how did they expand like this crinoid head into a geode. Uh, this is just a magnificent example again of a fossil. A geode and an example of um, you know some of the geologic wonders that can be found down in Indiana. Uh, American Geo is very proud to have found this. We don't dare crack it. You know, so many of the Indiana geodes are solid; they are not hollow. I suspect that is the case with this one. Uh, what makes this special again is that it is a crinoid head that fossilized and expanded into a geode. Um, as always, contact American Geode directly. We appreciate insight. We appreciate your information and knowledge, and we try to answer every single question we can. AmericanGeode.com. Thank you very much for watching this video, and please watch the rest of the videos. Hope everyone is safe and healthy. Thank you very much for your time.